Welcome to Instrument Engineer Channel. This time, we will discuss about instrument design interview questions, which are experience-based. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get notified for the new videos. Question number one. In instrument hookup diagram, what is the differences of instrument installation, which requires impulse line, between those serving for gas line and liquid line? In gas service line, process tap shall be facing upward. Instrument is mounted higher than the process tap. Tubing shall have slope inclining from process tap to the instrument to allow self-drain of the liquid component back to the main piping. In liquid service line, process tap shall be facing downward. Instrument is mounted lower than the process tap. Tubing shall have slope declining from process tap to the instrument to allow gas component and liquid can go back to the main piping. This is the diagram of instrument hookup. The left drawing is for gas service. And the right drawing is for liquid service. As can be seen, the position of instrument in gas service is higher than the tapping point. While in liquid service, the instrument position is lower than the tapping point. Tapping point is a spot on pipe or vessel where the fluid is going to be measured by the instrument. Instrument device will be connected to this tapping point either directly or through an impulse line. Tapping point is furnished with an isolation valve, usually ball valve, for maintenance purpose. Let's discuss the tapping point furthermore. The position of tapping point on the pipe is shown in these pictures. For air or gas service pipe, it must be located on the top of the process line or, alternatively maximum 45 degrees from the vertical line. This is intended, if there is any liquid in the instrument sensing lines, it will self-drain back into process line. For liquid service, it is recommended on the 45 degrees from the vertical bottom center line, so that any bubbles or non-condensable vapor in the instrument sensing lines will self-vent back into the process line. For slurry service, it should be located on the side of the process line. This is to prevent possible presence of sediment or scale going into the instrument. Question number two. Is it possible to have process tap below the piping in gas service? Yes, only if there is no other choice. It can be achieved by using condensate pot in the impulse line. However, this arrangement requires periodic maintenance for emptying condensate pot by the maintenance personnel. See this drawing? There is a condensate pot to trap the condensed gas. The liquid component will be trapped in the pot. Remember, the maintenance personnel must routinely empty this container. Question number three. If you want to add a new pressure transmitter in existing plant, what existing instrument drawings are affected during design phase? First, instrument layout drawing shall be revised to include the new pressure transmitter. Instrument cable layout must include new cable routing for the new pressure transmitter. Junction box termination diagram. If the new transmitter is connected to the existing junction box, the terminal number which is previously intended for spare shall now indicate the new connection for the new transmitter cable. This is to show that the terminal strips are now occupied. If it will use new junction box, then new drawing is needed. Marshalling cabinet termination diagram to show connection of the new cable and the available terminal strips. Besides updating existing drawing, there are new drawing that must be produced. New loop diagram is required for construction and maintenance purpose. New instrument hookup drawing is required for installation guide. Please subscribe to our channel since we will be releasing a new videos. Or visit instrumentationportal.com for more instrument and control related content. Thank you.